I still got it. Well, not exactly. <laughs> you see, I lowered the rim to be able to do some of the dunks I could do when I was in high school. I can't do those dunks anymore. Let's face it. And that was the title of Sunday's message. We continued our study in the book of 1 Peter, and our passage was 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 4 to 6. Let me read it for you. Of course, your former friends then are surprised when you no longer plunge into the flood of wild and destructive things they do. So they slander you. But remember that they will have to face God, who will judge everyone, both the living and the dead. That is why the good news was preached to those who are now dead. So although they were destined to die like all people, they now live forever with God in the spirit. Let's face it. We all have things we have to come to terms with, like losing our hair, like our children growing up and living their own lives, like not being the athlete that you once were. You know, when I was in high school, I played above the rim so much that I got the nickname Air Jamaica. But let me tell you, Air Jamaica has been grounded for some time now. In fact, around this atmosphere, it's a no-fly zone. When I was in college, my legs were so strong. I was able to squat over 600 pounds. I was able to test out at a 46 inch vertical. Now my vertical is more like four to six inches. I have a good friend, my brethren, who's the fastest man in his family at 50 something years old. And even he is starting to say, well, it might be time to pass the torch. You see, we all have to come to terms with certain things in our lives. But the most important thing that we all will have to come to terms with is the fact that we will one day meet our maker. We had a point on Sunday that says, we should live in the light of knowing that all will one day have to face God. And that should give us strength in two specific areas in our lives as Christians. First, it should give us the strength to face the criticism that we're going to get for being followers of Jesus Christ. And second, it should give us the strength to share the gospel with urgency and intentionality because we know that all will have to give an account. All will be judged. And I'm so glad I won't be judged by my own righteousness, but I'll be judged by the righteousness ascribed to me through my faith in Jesus Christ. Now, I was talking about being able to squat 600 pounds, and that enabled me to be able to jump to some extent. But I really was able to increase my vertical leaping ability when I got religious about this exercise called the hand clean. This is a hand clean. Now, when I started doing these, I was able to jump out of the gym. And don't get me wrong, I'm not here to help you to rekindle your former glory days. But if you want to do that in addition to getting the main point, knock yourself out. But my main point is that when we keep our hearts pure and our hands clean, we're able to keep it jumping for Jesus. You know, in 2 Corinthians 4, 16, it says that we should never give up. Although our bodies are dying, our spirit man is being renewed daily. So I encourage you to face it. Face the fact that we're all in need of a savior. Let's face it that we will all have to give an account one day for this life that we live. So I encourage you to live knowing that fact and allow it to help you to live for him because we're given choices every day. And I encourage you to choose Jesus. Thank you for joining me for another edition of Midweek Minutes. And I hope to see you again next week. Goodbye for now.